Hi travelers! Welcome to our channel. My name is Bob and this is the fourth episode of our new series. Let's explore the world. Today, we're going to talk about Brazil. Brazil is the largest country in South America and is known for its beautiful beaches, vibrant culture, and delicious food. The capital of Brazil is Brasilia. It was officially inaugurated as the country's capital on April 21, 1960, and is in the federal district, a federal territory that is not part of any of Brazil's 26 states. Brasilia is a planned city and was designed by the famous architect Oscar Niemeyer. One of the most famous places to visit in Brazil is Rio de Janeiro. It is Brazil's second largest city and is known for its vibrant culture, beautiful beaches, and iconic landmarks. The most famous landmark in Rio is the Christ the Redeemer statue, which sits atop Corcovado Mountain and overlooks the city. Other popular attractions in Rio include Copacabana and Ipanema Beaches, Sugarloaf Mountain, and the Tiuca National Park. Another must-visit destination in Brazil is Sao Paulo. It is Brazil's largest city and is known for its bustling energy, vibrant nightlife, and world-class dining. Visitors can explore the city's many museums and cultural institutions, such as the Sao Paulo Museum of Art and the Museum of the Portuguese Language. Other popular attractions in Sao Paulo include the Municipal Market, the Ibirapura Park, and the Banespa Building. Salvador Another must-visit destination is the capital of the Bahia State and is known for its colorful colonial architecture, lively music scene, and rich Afro-Brazilian culture. Visitors can explore the city's historic Pelour and Ho district, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Other popular attractions in Salvador include the Bon Fine Church, the Mercado Modelo, and the São Francisco Church and Convent. Fernando Noronha, another interesting destination, is a remote archipelago located off the coast of Brazil and is known for its stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, and abundant marine life. The islands are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and are protected as a national park. Visitors can enjoy snorkeling, diving, and hiking on the islands. Another must-visit destination in Brazil is the Amazon Rainforest. The Amazon is the largest rainforest in the world and is home to a diverse array of plant and animal species. Visitors can take guided tours of the rainforest, explore the river by boat, and learn about the indigenous cultures that call the Amazon home. For nature lovers, the Iguazu Falls are a must-visit destination. The falls are located on the border of Brazil and Argentina and are one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the world. Visitors can take guided tours to see the falls up close and even take a boat ride underneath them for a thrilling experience. If you're looking for beautiful beaches, Brazil has some of the best in the world. One of the most famous is Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro. This beach is known for its golden sand, clear blue water, and vibrant atmosphere. Another popular beach destination is Florianópolis, 
which is located on the island of Santa Cata Arena and is known for its picturesque beaches and charming fishing villages. Brazil is also famous for its delicious food. Brazilian cuisine is influenced by a mix of European, African, and indigenous traditions, resulting in a unique blend of flavors and ingredients. Some of the most famous dishes in Brazil include Feijoada, which is a hearty stew made with black beans, beef, and pork. It is often served with rice, colored greens, and farofa toasted manioc flour. Other popular dishes include churrasco, which is a Brazilian-style barbecue that features a variety of meats, such as beef, chicken, and pork, cooked on skewers and served with chimichurri sauce. Popular breakfast or snack item in Brazil is pau which are small, cheese-filled rolls. Another popular snack food in Brazil is coxinau, that consists of a fried dough filled with shredded chicken. Brazil has a rich and diverse artistic scene, with influences from indigenous cultures, African traditions, and European styles. One of the most well-known Brazilian artists is Candido Portinari, who is known for his vibrant and colorful paintings that often depict scenes from daily life in Brazil. His work often reflects the struggles and challenges faced by the working class and marginalized communities in Brazil. Another famous Brazilian artist is Ligia Clark, who was part of the concrete art movement in the 1950s and 1960s. Lark's work was characterized by geometric shapes and bold colors, and she was known for her innovative approach to sculpture and installation art. Brazil also has a strong tradition of music, with styles ranging from samba and bossa nova to funk and hip-hop. Some of the most famous Brazilian musicians include Joao Gilberto, who is considered one of the founders of bossa nova, and Catano Veloso, who is known for blending traditional Brazilian music with rock and other styles. In the world of literature, Brazil has produced many famous writers and poets, including Jorge Amado, Clarice Lispector, and Paulo Coelho. Amado's novels often explore social and political issues in Brazil, while Lispector's work is known for its introspective and philosophical themes. Coelho's best-selling novel the Alchemist has been translated into over 80 languages and has sold millions of copies worldwide. Brazil is a diverse country with a mix of different religions. The majority of the population identifies as Christian, with Roman Catholicism being the largest denomination. In fact, Brazil has the largest Catholic population in the world. In addition to Catholicism, there is a growing Protestant population in Brazil, with various denominations such as Evangelical and Pentecostal churches. Other religions that are practiced in Brazil include Spiritism, which is a religion that emphasizes communication with spirits and Afro-Brazilian religions such as Candomble and Umbanda, which originated from African spiritual practices and has been influenced by Catholicism. There is also a growing number of people who identify as non-religious or atheist in Brazil. 
Overall, the religious landscape in Brazil is diverse and reflects the country's history and culture. Portuguese is the official and most widely spoken language in Brazil. It is the only Portuguese speaking country in Latin America and the language is spoken by over 200 million people in Brazil alone. Brazilian Portuguese has some differences from the Portuguese spoken in Portugal, including differences in vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar. In addition to Portuguese, there are also a number of other languages spoken in Brazil, including indigenous languages such as Guarani, Kangang, and Tupi, which are spoken by small populations. There are also significant numbers of people who speak Spanish, English, and other languages due to tourism and international business. However, Portuguese remains the dominant language and is essential for communication in daily life in Brazil. Brazil's weather varies depending on which region you visit. In the north, the climate is tropical and humid, while the south has a more temperate climate. The best time to visit Brazil is during the dry season, which runs from May to September. That's it for this episode of our journey around the world. We hope you enjoyed learning about Brazil and the amazing places you can visit there. Join us next time as we explore another amazing country. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.